victories and two second round knockouts to his name. Prince Nazim Hamed's education in the world of professional boxing continued with a contest against the Welshman Andrew Bloomer. As usual, it was scheduled for six rounds, but not many fans at ringside expected it to go the full distance. The Prince Nazim bandwagon was already gathering pace. Some knowledgeable fight folk, trainer Brendan Ingle included, were suggesting that a future world champion and bona fide boxing superstar was in our midst. On the face of it, Bloomer's record suggested he was a hopeless case, but there was no doubting his toughness. This was a man who'd come to fight among the crowd at ringside. Match commentators Jim McDonnell and David Brenner. Originally hails from Pontypridd in South Wales, and when you look at a record like that, sooner or later, by the law of averages, he's got to win one. Tonight could be the night against the flashy youngster from Sheffield. Former Young England Amateur International, two fights, two wins, two stoppages, just 18. A babe in arms, but with all the confidence and arrogance of youth. Managed by the old campaigner, Brendan Ingle. Round one, scheduled for six. Hamed in the leopard skin, Bloomer in the white. The referee is Jim Pridding. And I'm sure Hami will have his eyes focused on the rib cage of Bloomer because he's a devastating little body puncher. Well, you saw Nassim Hamed start off southpaw style, switch to orthodox now, back to southpaw. Yeah, he's a real. British version of Hector Camacho. And Bloomer is mesmerised at the moment. He'll probably be thinking now that he's made a Bloomer taking this fight. <laughs> we saw Hamed's debut on Pro Box when he fought the very experienced Ricky Beard. Dropped him with a body shot. That was two rounds. Last time out, Sean Norman. That lasted two rounds. You know, this Nassim, he goes for all the tricks in the book. But so relaxed. I think it's good to watch. He can fight as well. Dave, I'm going to ask you a question. What would you tell Bloomer to do if he gets through the opening round? Because how do you handle this young man? Fight your own sort of fight. Ignore what the other fella does. Although that's not easy. At the moment, Bloomer looks confused, and I can't really say I blame him. So did the audience. And they're not getting hit. Well, Bloomer has got an enormous advantage, both in height and reach and weight. As I said, six pounds at flyweight is a lot, believe me. At the moment, although he's, he's thrown one or two shots, Bloomer, I don't think he's landed a glove on Hamad yet. Now, this young man, Nassim Hamid, yeah, he works in the gymnasium in Sheffield with the likes of Carl Bomber Graham and Johnny Nelson, so I'm sure he won't be worried about giving away a couple of pounds. For all his showboating, though, Dave, the kid can fight. Oh, he's a tremendous prospect. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Jim Pridding's telling him to cut out the showboating. Look at the damage on Bloomer's nose. Yes, he's already bleeding quite heavily from the nose, as the Welshman. <laughs> Hammer's round, no doubt about that. Oh, you can see a, a little graze as well on Bloomer's left temple. Bloomer from Wales in the white. Prince Nassim Hamed, originally from Yemen, now from Sheffield. Bit of a change that, isn't it? In the leopard skin. He's a very strong young man, though, Nassim. He's um, not just uh, a showboat. He's got a lot of physical strength. Well, 
like I said, both his previous fights have ended in round two, and he's looking to do a job on Bloomer now in round two. He's certainly busting him up, Dave. <laughs> Left, got him. And that's it, a third successive second round win. Here come the acrobatics. The arrogant swagger. Three fights, three wins, three stoppages, and three wins all in the second round. You can't argue with that. <laughs> you certainly can't. Loves the exposure, the loves the cameras, and rightly so. Well, you can, I don't know if you can make out what Nassim Ahmed's saying. He's saying, bring on Robbie Regan. Robbie Regan is the British flyweight champion. Whoops, there he goes again. A little bit of break dancing. <laughs> It'd be funny if he broke a leg one day, wouldn't it? Well, not funny, but some people might say it would serve him right. Brendan English says, that's enough, son. 